Mother's Day to all the moms out there. It's a very special day for me because I'm here with my daughter. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my waggles away. I gotta clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. And wiggle my waggles away. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump. Jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I got a yawn, yawn, yawn. Yawn my sleepies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out. And wiggle my waggles out of the way. I got a shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. This baby makes a mooing sound when his mother's not around. Calf is the name of this baby. What is his mother called? Cow. This baby makes a meowing sound when his mother's not around. Kitten is the name of this baby. What is his mother called? Cat. This baby makes a quacking sound when his mother's not around. Duckling is the name of this baby. What is his mother called? Duck. This baby makes an oinking sound when his mother's not around. Piglet is the name of this baby. What is his mother called? Pig. This baby makes a growling sound when his mother's not around. Cub is the name of this baby. What is his mother called? Bear. This baby makes a roaring sound when his mother's not around. Cub is the name of this baby. What is his mother called? Lion. Today's story is for all you moms and all you children out there. This story is called Lawrence the Bunny Who Wanted to Be Naked, and it's by Vern Kowski. Ever since Lawrence was a baby bunny, his mother has loved to dress him up in fancy outfits. She always chooses the brightest colors and all the most interesting styles. Sometimes she even invents new styles, like sweater suits and ear stockings, and inflatable helium balloon pants. If it's just a tiny bit chilly, Mrs. Rabbit wraps Lawrence up in a snowsuit, two scarves, and four fairy winter hats. And if it's warm out, she puts him in a protective swimsuit before he can play in the pond. But Lawrence only wants to hop naked through the fields. Every other beast gets to go naked. Why can't I? Lawrence asks his mother. Because, his mother always replies, you are not every other beast. You are my one and only sweet little love bunny. And so, day after day, Lawrence forces his feet inside of silly shoes and hides his ears under horrible hats and tucks his tummy into teeny tiny yoga tights. Mommy must be stopped. But how? At last, Lawrence smiles and not a one and only sweet little love bunny smile. Late that night, Lawrence cuts and sews and stitches. The next morning, he gives his mother a homemade gift. Why, Lawrence, you made me my own outfit. I love it so much, I'm going to save it for a very special day. But, sniffs Lawrence, 
Isn't today a very special day? So, Mrs. Rabbit wears her outfit when she drinks tea with the turtles. And when she shops for the carrots for dinner. And even when she visits her dear old friend, Mr. Raccoon. I love my little Lawrence, but thank goodness that's over, she says. Unfortunately for Mrs. Rabbit, it is nowhere near over. You see, for Lawrence, there are so many others show your mother how very much you love her days. There's Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Mrs. Rabbit's birthday, and especially Christmas Day. My goodness, worries Mrs. Rabbit. Could this be how my darling little Lawrence feels every single day? But then she smiles. And for the first time, it's an, I've just found the perfect way to show my little Lawrence how very much I love him smile. For this craft, you will need glue, scissors, something to color with, and paper. It would be best if you have white, brown, and green, but if you just have white, you can color it. To start, I'm going to trace my hand onto the green paper or onto white paper, and then I would color it in green. Once you've traced your hand, cut it out. Now that you've cut out your hand, you're going to want to draw and then cut out five flowers that will fit on each fingertip. Next, glue your flowers onto each fingertip. Now on your brown paper or brown colored paper, draw a flower pot. Once you've drawn and cut out your flower pot, glue your hand to the back of the flower pot. While the glue dries, you can write a Mother's Day message on the hand or on the pot. And there you have it, your Mother's Day card slash gift. Bye! Have a great Mother's Day. Be kind to your moms, give her lots of big hugs, and we'll see you next time.